Oh, fucking. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, well, now that my fucking camera just exploded. Hello, wait, I gotta take this hat off because you actually can't even see me. It's not like the engine's not running, but okay, that's fine, I think. Right? Are the light's gonna go off? No, I'm just down. Okay. Can you help me? Help! Uh, what the fuck do you want me to do? Ow! Hello. Welcome. So this is Kat. Hello. You say a few words about yourself. What the fuck do I say? I'm Kat and um and yeah. We're in Nashville right now. I'm from here. Kat is not from. Oh, I'm not from here. What the You're fuck? Not from here. I'm not from here at all. I'm not. I live in Nashville. I'm not from here. I live here now. She's here to visit me, and we're gonna discuss some things. First of all, oh. Sorry. Is it busting? Bitch, I might bust. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. We have a list. Well, I have a list. She doesn't have anything to talk about. But <laughs> first of all, we've been planning this video for like six months. It has not been that long. It's been actually been, it it's like been months. four or five. It's been at least one month. <sighs> we are gonna discuss some things. I have more things to discuss, but first of all, she's gonna tell you the story of how we met. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, where do I begin? Mostly because I want to eat, so you can. Yeah. Okay. Tell a story. So, well, we went to the same school, college, for one year, and I didn't actually even know she existed until this happened. I basically had to find roommates for this year, and um, I was just like scrolling through the little room housing thing on our college's website, and there were like, I shit you, can I? Yeah, I'll curse. There were like nine pages of put like groups, like all like girl groups, like not even including guy groups, of people that I could have roomed with. And I was looking through and I found some and I would like look at their Instagram and I was like, eh, I don't know, it's just, like fine. And then I came across her and then the other girl that she was rooming with. And I looked at her Instagram and for some reason I was just Which like- Which is already weird because you followed Angela. Yes. On Instagram and you I, didn't know I, who I was. Yeah, I did not follow her and I followed the other girl, but I DM'd her for some reason. I, I don't even, like I don't, I know I had a reasoning at that time, but I don't remember like, You told now. me your reasoning was because I followed Harry Styles. It may have been, yeah. There were like other um, people who followed, I don't know. It was just was like, it him and Cody Ko is what sold it? Maybe. I don't know, it was just like a vibe. And then I just like DM'd her and then she didn't respond for like four days. And so I was like, okay, well that's not gonna work. And then, <laughs> and then finally he No, was because left. I was waiting for Angela to respond because she was my roommate at the time. So I was like, not just gonna say yes. And then what if you were like super fucking weird? And then I was like, sorry, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. And I also wanted to make sure that Angela was gonna come because we had like this really bad, like, funny password for like the roommate group so i was like if she doesn't get our humor like she's not gonna think this is funny at all yeah i dm'd her and it was just like i don't know i don't like i don't know why i did but i did and i'm glad i did but anyways then she responded like four days later and then we met for lunch and then we just started hanging out yeah so and then that. i moved and that's the story yes um first thing that i w <laughs> i had a really like okay so in elementary school, like the shows and stuff that they would play for you in school, it was always like Tim and Moby. Yeah. And like people like that. Mm-hmm. The Amoeba Sisters. Oh, loved the Amoeba <laughs> Sisters. Point is, we also talked about the Magic, the magic School Bus. Mm-hmm. I hated the Magic School Bus so much. Why? It just made me ma like made me angry. So my my question is Magic School Bus. I also made these notes months ago. Like this is the first time I'm looking at these again. Did they have to sign permission slips? Like did the parents sign permission slips for these kids to like go into other kids' bodies? But they went on these field trips like every day. Yeah, like what the so fuck I feel kind like of school and what kind of funding did they have? <laughs> like, I feel like the kid, if they did have a sign permission slip, the kids would come home and the parents would be like, again? Like you just went on one yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Where are you getting the money for this? Google Earth images. All I said was, what the fuck? I don't know what my point was. Like, it's creepy. Wait, actually, not even that it's creepy, but like, how do you get a picture of every single thing on the Earth? Like, I get it's a satellite picture, but like the street views, how does that work? I mean, I assume they just like have like designated people in different Like I know there's like, the Google cars, like yeah. I know that they drive around, but like, how is that not illegal too? Like I know that you like blur out the faces, but you're, you've got like my house and my car. Yeah, but you it's blur, not like, I know. blur out the plates, but But like, it's not like anyone knows who lives there. Like, but also like in, in like in areas of the world where it's like less developed, there are like, they're not, they don't exist. Like there's not gonna be Google Earth pictures in, like Antarctica. I don't know, it makes me so pissed I mean, Google off. Maps, I mean. I mean, no. Street View, I mean. 
Well, duh. <laughs> like, well, who's driving the cars? The penguins? <laughs> I'm sure that'd be a valid reason to go. The penguins? Wild penguins. I'm down. Yeah, but not like you can like slide around with them. Like, what are you gonna do? Just watch them? Also, polar bears are fucking scary. They will eat you. They're like the most vicious bear. Just because they're hunted the most, I thought. No. Like for their like what? fur. No. Well, you don't see like brown bears or black bears in a zoo. You see like polar yeah, bears. Yeah, because zoo. because well, isn't it because like in zoos, like in America at least, they they take animals that you're not gonna commonly see in America. They're not gonna take like a squirrel and put it in a zoo or like a deer. That's not true. You've seen a squirrel in a zoo. I've seen birds in a zoo that like okay. definitely look like the pigeon that just flew down <laughs> trying to steal my fry five minutes ago. So okay, but but birds are different though because it can look similar, but it can be different a different like breed and from a different area. They're not gonna put like a brown. I'm sure if you went to a zoo, why wouldn't they put like a New York pigeon in the DC? Be Shit. Give me a second. I'm sure if you went to a zoo in like Europe, you're. The seatbelt. You're fine. I still don't have my seatbelt on. Okay. You're gonna find animals from America. But they're not gonna put- What kind of animals do you think they put over there? Like a New York pigeon? No, or Like bro, a subway rat? There are pigeons in Europe. But not a, like, not a New York City one. A pigeon is a pigeon. But the, the New York the City The same ones. pigeons that I see in New York are the same ones that I in saw- In New York? In New York <laughs> are the same ones that I saw- Are the same ones that I saw around Europe. I'm saying they're not gonna put a brown bear in a zoo, or a black bear in a zoo, because a, a zoo in America. They're like already in America. <laughs> <laughs> I got a freaking nugget meal, and they didn't give me the fries, and I was like, it's fine, like the nuggets will be enough. It's not enough. Do you want some of my fries? I'm gonna end up eating all of your fries. You can have my fries. I I'm not gonna eat them. But that pisses me off, because I paid for a meal and then small fries. What are your thoughts on the Madagascar movie? The second one is so sad. quality movies. Um, okay. The first one, I think I remember the premise. The first one is when they, it starts, they're all at the zoo. I actually don't know how that movie goes. Bob Saget? Ah! What was he? He was a zoo animal. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch? What? What is he? I don't know look what he up. was. Oh, I don't know what he played in Madagascar. Well, look up. You know, there's an easy way we could solve that. Wait. But the second one is Escape to Africa. And in the beginning, they show Alex and his dad playing in the field, like when he's a little cub. They literally, like, put a cat toy out and, like, baited him and then grabbed him. Yeah. So that was so sad. And he's, like, crying for his dad. And then his dad gets shot with a tranquilizer. And it's so uh -huh. sad. But the rest of the movie's funny. But that part is so sad. Like, the second one is. It's so good that, like, that scene hurts so <laughs> bad. That's how you know it's, like, a good cartoon. That's how I feel about Shrek. That's how I feel about, like, Scooby Doo. And like Looney Tunes. I mean, I never like. Speaking I... of, grab my man. Oh, which one? This one? Yes, you can show the other one. My man, Marvin. Here, I got, I got this one for her today for Christmas. Snakey Six. When people said, "How do you like them apples?" When did apples become scary? And follow-up question: Are doctors intimidated by an apple a day keeps the doctor away? I'm, how do you like them apples? How do you <coughs> like them apples? That's crazy. I actually don't know where that came from. I know who invented <laughs> that. That's what I'm saying. Like these sayings get brought up, and people are like, "Let's start saying that." But it's like Pangea. Like the first guy that said something about Pangea, they're all like, "Y'all are crazy." No, I, okay, and I don't think that an apple day, or an apple day keeps the doctor away is intimidating because that's not true. Like you're not just gonna eat an apple and be cured from whatever issue you have. Like, that's a stupid saying, and I actually, I don't like that saying, because it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, it's supposed to be like, oh yeah, apples are healthy, like, and you're gonna be more fit, but like, that doesn't make, like, you can still eat, like, fucking, well, McDonald's every single day. I have McDonald's in literally weeks. I know, I know, I'm saying, I know, I know, that was the first thing that came to mind. But like, you can have McDonald's every single day, but then you're like, and you're gonna be in bad shape. Not bad shape, but you're like, your insides are gonna be like screaming for help. And then, you, but you're gonna be like, oh, well I can eat an apple and it's fine. No, just because you, or like, is it, is it saying that like, if you, no, it's not saying if you only eat an apple a day, cause that's not good. You have to eat more than just an apple a day. Like, you know, but no, to answer your question, I don't think doctors are intimidated by that because they still, people still go to them and they still make the big bucks. Not thanks to apples. What's your favorite kind of apple? Honey crisp. The yellow ones? No. What color are they? They're green. They're like they can they can have like yellow parts, but they're like lighter red. They're like they're crispy. Hence like, the name honey crisp. 
Who named the apples? And who's Granny Smith and why are her apples so damn good? I actually don't like Granny Smith apples that much. They're too tart for me. You know what's for sad? For me, it's Honey Crisp or nothing, Some of them honestly. just have stupid names, and I'm like, I'm never gonna grab that apple. Like Red Delicious. That pisses Red me off. Red Delicious? It makes me so oh, mad. Oh, you stupid bitch. Like, Who why the would fuck I... named that? And those aren't even the best ones. No, they're not. No. They may be red. They're not delicious. Well. Listen, they're not bad, but they're, they're not, not that good. They're not bad, but they're not the best. What, what other kinds of apples are there? Hold on. We talked about this very briefly. But I had this discussion with somebody else too and I need to talk about it. Okay. The concept of time. Oh. And you know exactly what I'm going to say. Okay. Say it. Do, do you know? Maybe. Say it. I don't think I do actually. Say it. Time isn't real. Well, that, but how- Oh, 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 I think I do know what you're going to say. How, like, how do we know if this time is correct? Oh, oh, that's not what I was going to say, but I have to talk about <laughs> it. I was going to say Fra Frank Sinatra's death and how Frankie Valli is still alive. Oh, how was I supposed to know that that's what you were going to say? Because we were talking about it. I know, but that has nothing to do with time. Yeah, huh? Like, yeah, I can't huh? believe... I just can't believe that Frankie Valli is... I mean, respect. I'm you know, my like dad good met Frankie Valli in a JCPenney. A <laughs> JCPenney? He, my, my dad worked at a JCPenney in high school, and Frankie Valli came in, and he's only 5'4". So my dad's told me this story so many times. He's only 5'4", so he came into the boys' section looking for a robe, and then my dad was helping him, and then he was like, could you sign this? And it was like, just... Would like, Frankie Valli want you saying this? Frankie Valli's not gonna watch this video. Frankie, you don't fucking know that. Um, okay, well. I go to Belmont. You Frankie Valli, if you're watching, my dad met I you. I love your and songs. he always talks about you because he loves your music. And I do too, actually. Yeah, I do too. That's why I'm like, your song, it was featured in my favorite movie, 10 Things We Hate About You, so. Anyways, yeah, Frank Sinatra, but you know oh, what? Oh, what a night. Yes. But, Late December okay, yeah. back in 63. Okay, but, okay, but. I thought Frank Sinatra died like the 70s. That's what we were so, talking about. He didn't. He died like the 90s, right? Like I thought he died in like the 60s. I the think 60s? He, he died in like 92 or something like that. 98. Ah! That's oh, he looks sexy. Oh, I know. I think just because like naturally, <coughs> they. <coughs> I think because they're both named Frank and Frankie, mm -hmm. and they have like the same kind of style mm -hmm. that like naturally I put them together. Oh. Oh. There you go. So naturally, I like put them as like a group. Obviously, they're not, but like I pair them up. About how we don't know if like this is really oh, the time. Oh yeah, who? Because at what point does somebody say we're gonna start clocking it right now? Yeah, like who decided? It's estimated. Yeah, it could be twenty four sixty three. And that yeah, I was talking more like the, like the hours of the day, but that's a good point also. Like I and know how like, do you know about leap years? How do you know to add an extra day in every four years? Well, I think that started within with like, like I know that's Julius like, Caesar for some reason. I know that's like, like the planets and shit, but like, yeah, I don't. That just I, seems like so much to keep track of when you didn't have the, like, science or the equipment to start tracking things like that, and then suddenly you're saying that today is seven twenty. It's seven twenty six p.m. Central Standard Time on January sixth, twenty twenty three. Yeah, like uh, back then, how like because listen, I know like ancient philosophers made a lot of good philosophizing <laughs> but like some of the things they said weren't right like the fact like they everyone thought that the earth was the center of the, the universe. universe until like do you know what you're saying until like the 15 or 1600s <laughs> i know what i'm saying just leave me alone really because our our old school they told me to become a philosophy major Okay. Could you imagine me being a philosophy major? That's crazy. No, that would you would actually I think kill yourself. Um, <laughs> what? We're only in, in one solar system, and there's so many and so many other ones. Oh my god, that's another thing. I know this probably isn't on your list. That's another thing I always have to talk about. It scares me so much how big the universe is. I was thinking and about like, like this though. There's like aliens and things in other universes and other galaxies wondering. If there's other people in no, other galaxies. No, I know. And I firmly believe that there is like a parallel universe where like I exist. Oh, like the multiverse. Sure. Yeah. Like I fully I Yeah, fully agree. where like I exist somewhere else, but I'm just like. Because why why am I getting deja vu? And like yeah. I'm like a firm believer of deja vu. Like I'm not like, oh, I feel like this has happened before and like it's probably just like a coincidence. Like I've definitely like had McDonald's before. Yeah. Like it's something so specific where yeah. I like remember being with my dad at a certain point and him like walking behind me. Yeah. And like making a certain yeah. noise. Like how do I know that? 
it's just like and you no know, it just like freaks me out like like, not, like not even that but it's just like how like how big the world is first of all how many people are on the world and then there are planets bigger than that and we're only in one solar system and there's like a billion other more than a billion other solar systems like it's just like it blows my damn mind and but I, not and in like I a fun way like it stresses no, me out no it stresses out. me out i can't think about it too hard or else i actually get like anxiety yeah i'm like getting kind of stressed out right now okay we'll move on to the next one what year is it really see that was the next one Okay, yeah, well, we're going to talk about that. Monkeys. Oh, I hate monkeys. I hate monkeys. I hate monkeys. I can't do it. They scare me so bad. I don't know what it is. I don't... Actually, I do know what it is. Why are they not paying taxes? They think it's so funny. Let's put this monkey in a movie theater. He can be the ticket guy. Why is he not paying taxes? Because if you're not paying him a wage, that's illegal. And if you're paying him a wage and you're not taxing him, that's also illegal. So why is he working there? There's that guy on TikTok. I don't know who it is, but he, like, gives his monkey, like packages and the monkey opens it mm -hmm. oh no stop that monkey died and I, I and me and my brother were so upset about it because i followed him and i loved him i i i was looking forward to seeing his videos every single day and then he died like last summer the summer before and i was so his name was george and i was so sad that's the thing too was like why are we taking monkeys and making them pets because we can why because don't get me started uh oh. The monkey, the chimpanzee that like mauled this girl's friend. Like, okay, but okay, but like small monkeys. She had are him different though, from since, chimpanzees. But she had him since he was a baby. And yeah. he was a pet for so long. That's what I'm saying is like, my brother had turtles. And at some point we gave them up because they were too big. Turtles. Turtles. How are you going to have a monkey? Well, it's a chimp. They're different. That's even worse. That is literally worse. 2016 was like a time I never want to see again. Facts. So this is the last point. Or no, no planes. Planes. Oh, maybe we shouldn't talk about this. How do they? No, that's okay. Actually, let me let me describe my morning to <laughs> to everybody. I okay. I've always been pretty anxious about like planes. I just get like I'm not about, like like some crashing or anything. I just get like really <laughs> claustrophobic. Yeah, that's fair. And I just feel like I have nowhere to go. But like. I've never been so anxious to the point where I was today. Like, it was just so strange. I got to the airport. It may have been because, like, I was, just, like, really tired and, like, hungry and whatever. But I got to the airport and I was fine. And then I went to the bathroom to take a shit. And then when I came back, all of a sudden, like, I sat down and I just... Yeah, no, was, it was like, like a flip switched. It was so weird. And I just felt like I'm going to throw up right now. Like, because I always get, like, pretty nauseous when I'm anxious. But, like, I've never, like... It was so bad. I was literally, run like, running to the bathroom, like, gagging. Like, I was like, I'm going to throw up. No, you got right there, now. like, quick. But, yeah, like, how do they know where to go and how are flights planned? This one, I, like, it makes... This one's harder to explain than the one below it. And I'll, I'll explain why. Like, I don't even know how to, like, form what I'm trying to say. It's making me crazy. Like... Are you asking how they fly? Not how they fly. I don't need the science behind it. It'll scare me. Okay. Don't tell me about Bluetooth either. That shit stresses me out <laughs> just as much. Or like Wi-Fi or AirDrop. Ah! Don't tell me about it. <laughs> no! It stresses me out so bad. But flights and like planes. Why are you deciding? We're going to go from Baltimore. and Let's just send this thing to like Sydney. Mm -hmm. Like why? Like do you have to have like a list and like have to send them through each airline? What do you mean why? Because people want to But go. like how do you know that people are going to get tickets for that flight is what i'm saying like you have to plan oh, that i advance. see what you're saying like you have to plan that so how do you plan where you're gonna go if you don't know how many tickets are gonna be sold like we only went to nashville this morning from baltimore so like there were 60 people on that flight and then there should have been like 150 like for a full plane so how do you know that 150 people are gonna fly that was also a connecting like, flight it was, yeah. it was going to st louis or dallas or something yeah but like you see what i mean yeah they know by now what places are more popular yeah i mean you're not gonna send one to like well no i know fuck PA. no i know but like i don't know actually that's a like a plane's question. not gonna go to scranton it's gonna go to philly like well they also have to find places with like international like with international yeah, airports i just so, like, that stresses me out how do you know where to go you're just following like that's sketchy too you're telling me this man's just got a gps up there this guy's a pilot yes. and he's just got a gps yeah why doesn't he know what the clouds look like in a certain area and know to turn left well because he doesn't fly the same route every day like he goes different places route? route whatever which do you say 
I say both. I have more root. I know I say root. I say route. Okay. Well, that's great. But like, but <laughs> he doesn't fly the same route every day. He just, it, I don't know. But you know what makes me even more, don't mean to stress you out. Cause like, I like flying, but like, it's just the logistics of it that like freak me. Now they don't freak me out, but it's just like, why? But don't tell me why. But like, because I don't want to know because it's going to stress me out. That's what's going to make me afraid of flying. And I don't want to be afraid. Like, I like it. It's peaceful sometimes. Mm -hmm. But like, the fact that they just put it in like autopilot. Like, I understand you're not going to stand there and go literally straight for 12 hours. But something about the pilot just like setting it on to autopilot. I mean, they, that's what the co-pilot's for though. To take over. Facts. Yeah. But Like, no one is ever just like not manning the plane. I mean, like, somebody's sitting, they're gonna sit, but how do you know they're not, like, doing this? Like, they're, like, let's put it into autopilot, and they're, like, hey, guys, welcome back, and, like, it's filming a YouTube video, and it's just them up there, like, fucking around. They've got, like... Right. Well, let's just have to trust at that point. I don't know. It's, like, Rhett and Link up there. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing is the postal service. How are they sorted? Something like Amazon. Something that has such a big... Sorry, I farted. I'm seeing if it, like... <laughs> oh I'm seeing if it was, like, airing out. <laughs> but, like, something like Amazon, where it's gonna be, like, such a big factory like that, First of all, how does Amazon have everything that I need? That? No, I always think about that. That is terrifying. But how do you have all of that? Well, it's a massive company. I know that. So do you set the order and then it like sends to whatever location has that one and then like the label prints, whatever, yada, yada. You drop it off, but then it's sorted. Is it, it has to be sorted by state, I'm assuming, and then goes by zip code, probably? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I understand. It just seems like such an extensive process. Yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know. That's... Mm. Right? That one's got me... That one's got me thinking. Yeah. Kai also has a channel, but she never uses it. Um, I have, like, four or five videos up. You were, like, killing it for, like, a solid... The well, week that you had COVID, that's because I the had week COVID, you were killing it. It was, like, two videos a day. It was crazy. <laughs> no, you gotta do some more, though. I keep saying to do, like, college ones, because people are gonna want to see, like, the school. Especially now, because we're gonna start touring the school. Yeah. I'm out of my food. I'm out of my sweet tea. Sweet tea. I don't say it weird. I don't understand. How do you think I say sweet tea? <laughs> okay, well, you just said it normally now. How do I say it? I've already explained but this But it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to make sense. It's just how you say it. It's okay. How do I say it? You, you, like, you go, like, you, like, you have, like, more, like, an A at the end. Like, you really, like, enunciate the A. You're, like, sweet tea. Like, I, but if I say it slowly, it doesn't sound right. But, like, if you watch back, and before I, like, before I made fun of you, like, it was, it, it's there. I'm telling you. <laughs> that, was a, that was a gulp. Okay. See ya! <laughs>